So this project is called Free the Billboards and it is a project that invites people in the neighborhood to reimagine the visual space in our community. Yes, yeah, so this was a collaborative project. I had this idea and I wanted to make it as um, collaborative as possible because it's about envisioning our shared public space together. And in my opinion, billboards are very one-sided. It's not a conversation between the viewer and the billboard. It's a message from a corporation or from an advertiser to the person and they cannot respond in any way. So I wanted to form a dialogue with people who um, wanted a sort of interaction with a wall. So I set up a uh, website that could collect images from people who wanted to submit um, either their artwork or images that they would rather see in their neighborhood than an advertisement. And so some people sent me poetry, some people sent me art that they had made or famous paintings that they loved, anything that they felt strongly about um, that could be positive for them to see on their ride home or in their neighborhood near their house. So I picked this location partly because it's in my neighborhood and this is a billboard that I pass pretty much every day. It's a bike corridor, so there's a, a lot of traffic that goes through here. And I also tried to pick locations where local businesses might be affected by an adjacent billboard. We used recycled brass, steel to make the um, billboard stand and we used a Viewmaster that is a vintage uh, 1950s original Portland Viewmaster. I've always had a place in my heart for this toy and a sense of nostalgia and to figure out that I could use it as a visioning tool was a really powerful um, realization. So that's why I chose to use it. And because it can cycle through seven different images, I'm able to showcase more artists' work and give the public more choices of what they like rather than just one image.